taking my commencement matter on behalf of Mr Humphreys, uh, which is the provision of funding on the Rural Regeneration and Development Fund for the Drumlish Grow Green Centre application in Longford. Uh, firstly, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the Fine Gael and Government who introduced this fund uh, to help stimulate rural economies um, during the last term. And indeed, we've had three successful applications within our own county over the last couple of years. Uh, Project Ireland 2040 aims to make cities, towns and villages more attractive and livable and offer a quality of life that more people are willing to choose in the years ahead. It references reversing town, village and rural uh, population decline by encouraging new roles and functions for buildings, streets and sites supporting the sustainable growth of rural economies and communities. This project aims to address these objectives and numerous others in ensuring the reimagination of the existing community centre deliver a more expanded role within the community of Dramish, allowing the local people to live and work locally whilst encouraging climate adaptation. The core objective of this is to be a flagic project in terms of developing Drumlis as a competitive, low carbon climate resilient and environmentally sustainable town through the redevelopment of the centre as a flagship green energy building. The building will also be used to showcase low energy technologies and act as a training centre to open communities throughout the Midlands on reducing energy consumption in association with Longford warmer homes amongst others. Significant consultation has taken place over the last number of years, starting with the establishment of the town team by my colleague Councillor Park Brady, which led to the formation of the Area Development Group. The redevelopment of the centre emerged as a key priority, along with the need to create economic opportunities for the local community, such as remote working space, but also an opportunity for innovation and collaboration. The town itself has experienced significant population increases in recent years, 58% between 2006 and 2016. However, the supporting infrastructure to develop the retention of employment in the area has not followed. This project is expected to bring five direct jobs in the development and management of the centre, as well as space for five dedicated remote working places, additional meeting and training facilities, and increased usability for music, dance and art. The centre is also located next door to the local national school, St Mary's, who utilise its facilities. The Ladies Waste and Recycling, which is located two miles from the town, will collaborate with the promoters which includes Longford County Council, Drumlish Community Centre Group and the Drumlish Balamuk Area Development Group and Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland to deliver a greater sustainable community goals by working together to develop school education programmes, information awareness workshops and practical demonstrations. Minister, this project plans to support the community to transist to a low carbon society in creating a new vision for Drumlish. This application aligns with the national, regional and local policy and fully delivers on the policy priorities of the current funding call in terms of economic development and in addressing climate change. It will be transformational not only for Drumlish but for the wider county Longford and indeed parts of Cavan and Leitrim. Minister, I ask that this project is a priority for funding from Government. Thank you. Well, Senator. Minister, you the House. Thank you. Good morning, Coherlock, Senators. Uh, the Rural Regeneration and Development Fund was established under the National Development Plan 2018-2027 to provide investment for ambitious projects in towns and villages with a population of less than 10,000 and outline areas which were applications were received and the response to this call from all across the country were communities like Drumlish as Senator Carradigy has articulated. All the proposals have been planned and developed to meet the key needs and opportunities contained and expectations within their communities. As Senator Carragy will also be aware, the application fund for this process is com competitive in nature. The applications submitted in December are currently being assessed by the Project Advisory Board, comprised of independent experts and representatives from key government departments. I understand the rising from this process, Minister Humphreys will be furnished with a report detailing the projects which are recommended for funding, and she will make final decisions in that regard at that juncture. I believe that the Minister hopes to make an announcement at the end of March or the beginning of April in relation to these projects. And obviously I will articulate your views in terms of Drumlish to her. I know it's a very good project and Councillor uh, Porrick Brady and yourself are doing huge work in that regard in articulating the merits of it for the community. As you point out, the way it knits into St Mary's, the school and the wider area, it will be a huge driver in the area and I would expect and hope for a pod positive outcome in this area. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you, Minister Burke. And as you said, that's a scenario you're very well aware of your, yourself. And as I say, a lot of work has been done and started off by your colleague, uh, Councillor Bailey, a number of years ago, and driving a large number of projects in the area. And I just point um, to something that I made in, 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 in my last statement, and I'm quite aware that the, the process is just ongoing as regards assessing the project, but just that it, it aligns with the national, regional and local policy, and it fully delivers on the policy priorities of the current funding calls in terms of economic development and addressing climate change. And I think that's what makes the project unique. It's linked into the local national school, as you said, St Mary's there. It's linked into Malays, which is one of the largest recycling facilities um, in the Midlands, to work with regard to promoting um, climate change and bringing other schools in the county, not just in County Longford, but in the Midlands, to the centre when it will be fully operational and completely uh, a complete green energy building. So I thank you for your support. Um, Minister Burke, as I say, and we, we would be hopeful that this uh, application would be successful as we know that any project that has been put forward by Longford County Council has been very, very, very proactive local authority and, and very keen to deliver this project for the community. Thank you.